Alright, I am Tahuti Kepura Iteru. Now, this video right here, we've got something very important to discuss as it pertains to the times we're in right now. So, let's get straight into this right here. So, now, recently now, scientists at Harvard announced that they're going to start dealing with geoengineering projects right here and it says in the video now i'm gonna link the video in the description box right it says that they want to start dealing with geoengineering projects to cool down the earth this is what they're saying right here now i want to break down the significance of this so now we know right they've been geoengineering the planet since as long as we can remember that's common conspiracy or basic conspiracy right that's been going around we know they've been geoengineering right and for those who don't know geoengineering is a scientific term for chemtrails, right? That's a scientific term for it, right? So again, we know they've been dealing with this, but again, I want to break down the significance of why they're even coming out now and saying that they need, saying the importance of why they need to start geoengineering. So again, I want to break this down. So now, <clears throat> I want to talk about global warming, climate change, and I want to talk about this, this whole greenhouse effect. I want a greenhouse effect. I want to speak about this right here. So now, the whole thing with global warming, they were saying that it was the carbon dioxide right or the, the carbon dioxide from the from the cars now that was causing some type of you know some type of green creating a kind of greenhouse greenhouse effect so that way the, when the sun's rays are coming down now it's getting trapped in these gases making the planet hotter this is what they were saying right but then when you watch the video now they're saying that they need to essentially put some type of smoke screen or some type of, you know some type of chemicals in the atmosphere right to essentially reflect right the sun's rays right here so on one hand gases in the atmosphere are trapping the sun's rays and now they're saying now they're going to do the same thing put gases back in the atmosphere to essentially reflect the sun's rays so they're contradicting themselves right here you see what i'm saying so that again there is no greenhouse effect as we know now those when you do the research now the planet has been recorded to be hotter than how it is now you see what i'm saying it's been hotter before so you saw obviously now the whole green aspect that's garbage right that's garbage again yes the cl this the, again climate change is real but again as we i'm gonna we're gonna, gonna go deep into this as it pertains to you know the times we're in right now so climate change is real but the whole green aspect that's garbage right so now i want to break down why they would even announce that they're dealing with geoengineering i want to break down why they would even announce this stuff so now i want to break this down so now the reason why they will come clean is because, again, it, it's the times we're in right now, but I'm going to speak further about, it, further, further about this later on in the video. But basically what it is is that, again, they, they, they know that the, they don't want the masses to become suspicious. So what's happening is that they know based on the times we're in, based on the times that we're in right now, normally so normally they would have one chemtrail plane just you know creating the chemtrails and do what it's doing. But now because of, because of the times we're going in, they might say, you know, they might need two planes, they might need three planes, so they, want the, they don't want the people to get suspicious. If they start seeing three, four planes crisscrossing, creating a blanket in the sky, right? They don't want people to get suspicious. So they say, oh, they're doing the, the geoengineering projects. That's what, it, that's what it is, even though they've been geoengineering for as long as we can remember. But as they want to come out and announce it now because they know that they're going to have to start speeding it up. You see what I'm saying? So if you see, you know, four planes crisscrossing, creating a blanket in the sky. You think, what the hell is that? They can say, oh, it's the geoengineering project. They're experimenting. You see what I'm saying? So again, it's a way to stop the suspicion of the masses. This is what it is. So they have to come out and say it now. You see what I'm saying? Now I want to deal with clouds. Again, in my last video, I spoke about clouds. All right, so I want to talk about clouds, the sky, and things of that nature. So again, now, as it pertains to clouds now, clouds are man-made. It's the, it's those, it's the planes that are creating the clouds. Now, why is it that clouds, right, just so happen to form at the same height that planes happen to travel? You see what I'm saying? Why is it just a coincidence that they just so happen to form at the same height that the planes travel? You don't see clouds just forming on the ground or just forming, you know what I'm saying? You don't see them forming at the level in which you can grab it. They only seem to form at the level in which those planes travel. And again, that's because it's the planes that's even making them. You see what I'm saying? The planes are creating the clouds, right? And again, another thing I want to deal with is this, the blue sky, right? So now this part's interesting. Now, when you do the research, and again, you find, they're saying that the reason why the sky is blue is because based on the particles or whatever, they reflect blue light than any other color. This is what they're saying. 
<laughs> right? This is what they're saying. But now, when we go back to Egypt now, again, we know that the, the goddess Nut was this guy, right? And coincidentally now, when you do the research, right, what I've noticed is the goddess Nut, she's never actually depicted as blue. She's never blue, right? She's never actually blue. She's either black or the colour of the papyrus. So they don't, they don't actually colour it. Well, we know the Egyptians had blue, but she's never actually blue. The only time you see her as blue, if, if, if another person drew it and they make her blue, but the actual ones that you get from Egypt, she's never blue. Now, again, so again, the question is, has the sky always been blue? That's the ultimate reality right now. You see what I'm saying? Has the sky always been blue? Right? She's never actually blue. So again, that's that's another interesting fact right there. That's another interesting thing to, you see what I'm saying, to deal with right there. Right. So again, now another thing I want to tap into right here. But again, I'm doing more research on it. I'm doing more research into this stuff. You see what I'm saying? I'm doing more research into this stuff. But again, I had to make this video dealing with this geoengineering. So now another thing I want to deal with now is the moon. So again, I'm, I'm doing more research on the moon right here. So now, I watched, I watched, so again, I was watching this video, right, yesterday, dealing with this flat earth video. All right, again, it's flat earth five minutes. It's flat earth in five minutes. But then I watched this second video and I probably had the best laugh that I've had in a whole month right here. Right, the, in the whole month. Now, the guy was essentially trying to debunk <laughs> the five minute flat earth video, right? He was trying to debunk it. And, and it, <laughs> Right, and then see, so now he was going, he was talking about it, right, and he was breaking down his whole his own science. Again, that guy was obviously a government agent, he's a paid agent. That guy was a paid agent, right? So he's going through it right now, breaking it down, and then he got to the part about the CGI image. So the guy spoke about how all the images are CG. Again, we know this stuff is all CG, and the guy attempted <laughs> to debunk that part, <laughs> and the guy said, right, the guy said. Yeah, we have pictures of Earth, you know what I'm saying? We got real pictures of Earth. The pictures from the look at the pictures from the Apollo missions. And I just man, I just I couldn't even get past that part right there. I couldn't even finish the video. When I just hear the when I just hear the word Apollo missions, I just I just couldn't I just couldn't finish the video. And again, I'm gonna leave these videos in the description box. I just couldn't finish the video. Apollo missions. <laughs> you know, Apollo missions, but again I wanna speak about the moon right here. So now take a look at this right here. Again, it's another magazine I bought I think last week or whatever. Look at this right here. What does that say? Back to the moon. <laughs> he's, he's saying he wants to go back to the moon, right? So now we know now they've never been to the moon, right? They've never been, right? And again, I want to speak about this. Now, what's what's interesting about the moon is that in another magazine now, again, they, they're breaking down the moon and things of that nature. The moon, right? See, see the moon, the moon, the moon. And one interesting, another interesting about the moon is that, again, if you see this, you only ever see one face. So this is a face you always see, no matter where you are on the earth, this is the only face you see. This type of this type of rabbit right here. This is the only thing you ever see. Now they try to actually explain why you only see one face of the moon. And they're saying the reason why you only see one face is because it says, and I quote, the reason why we see the same lunar features staring back at us is because the moon has got into a synchronous rotation with earth. This means that its spin that it spins once on its axis in the same time it takes to complete an orbit of our planet. So a they're trying to say it's a synchronous, synchronistic orbit that we only see one face of the moon. But again, what I like this flat Earth is saying, which I, which I do agree with, that we're not actually moving. It's not moving. It's stationary. This Earth is stationary. So that's garbage. So again, I want to do more research into the moon now to figure out what this thing actually is. What it actually is right here. So I'm doing more research into that right there. Right. So again, dealing with the moon, right? Dealing with the moon right here. Let's see. But again, you know, also one other thing I want to deal with is this. Again, the reason why we use the reason why you always hear me talk about Egypt. Why, why do I keep talking about Egypt? Is because again, I want you to take a look at this right here. So now this right here is a star chart, right? This is their star chart that they created. So the mainstream scientists of, of today, the modern scientists of today, this is their star chart. So I want you to take a look at this right here. So this is their star chart. Now, this, that right there is quite identical. Again, take a look at it one more time. Again, this is identical to the, the star chart that the Egyptians had dealing with the temple of, in the temple of Hathor, Din Dedda. This is the same, a similar star chart. But again, this is, all the technology that they have, 
that the mainstream scientists of today, that they have, this is what they drew, this is what they come up with. So again, it was breaking down how the ancients had the same type of science. They had the same type of science to a point where the star charts that they had are the same star charts, the same format that they're using right now. So we can go back to Egypt because it's the same science that they were using. So if they said the sun, moon and stars, as I was saying in my last video, if they said all it was is sun, moon and stars, then that's all that there is. You see what I'm saying? That's all that there is. So again, we're just dealing with this stuff right here. So now I want to talk about the atmosphere. right? So now that's another thing I want, I want to deal with. So now, the reason why there's different layers of the atmosphere, so we talk about, we got, the, we got, the, we got the, the thermosphere, the stratosphere, the exosphere, the, mer the mesosphere. The reason why there's so many different levels of the atmosphere, because what he's finding is that the higher he goes up, the further away space actually becomes. So each height that he goes to, he just gives it a new name. Oh, that must be the mesosphere. Okay, then that must be the exosphere. And all we have to do is get past the exosphere and we're in space. But what's happening is space is getting further and further and further away because what the ancients understood is that you couldn't actually go to space. Again, from a, from this physical, physical standpoint that we're in, it wasn't a physical space travel. Again, it wasn't actually a physical space travel. You see what I'm saying? And again, this is the reason why, this is the reason why the goddess Nut now, she was under the lids of the coffin. So they believe that when you die, that's where you go. You see what I'm saying? We've all, we, we've all heard the term, stars are souls. We've all heard that term. You see what I'm saying? So we're saying, so, so the whole space travel, it's not necessarily a physical travel, but it's a, it's a where you go after you leave the physical plane. You see what I'm saying? This is what the Egyptians were saying. Right? So now I want to deal with pretty much the last thing. See, pretty much the last thing I want to deal with now is, I want to revisit satellites right here. So in my last video, I said that there are no satellites, right? But there's some people say, okay, so there are no satellites. What's Google? How do Google get their images? Now, this part is significant right here. So now I was driving one day right here. And again, I imagine, I just, it just happened. It just happened so randomly. I managed to see this car right here. This car that said Google. And it had this big ass camera on the car. So, okay, that's how they're doing it. They're land-based cars. And what they're doing, they've got these land-based cars. And they've got these high-def cameras on the cars, right? <laughs> And they're driving around, right? <laughs> they're driving around, right, with these high def cameras, and that's how they're getting the images. And these cameras now, it's mobile, it turns around, so that's how you get the 3D, the 3D effects, and all those, and Google Earth, and all that, because the camera's turning around, it's high def camera, it's a land based cars. This is what they are. They're not satellite, satellites, land based cars. And also, as I mentioned in my other video now, hot air balloons now. Again, that's where, that's what, that's the whole satellite thing. There's no, there are no orbits. Again, we spoke about this before. You see what I'm saying? So again, I'm just, we're just going through some stuff right here. But now the whole conclusion, though, the reason why I had to make this video again is this geoengineering. Now, we know they've been geoengineering, right? But the important thing is why they're even coming out and saying it now that they're going to start doing it. And the reason why they're saying they're going to start doing it is because if you, we know they've been doing it. But again, as I was saying before, is that if you see four planes crisscrossing and creating a blanket in the sky, just completely blacking out the sky, you won't get suspicious. So you know, oh, they're doing their geoengineering projects. But the reason why they're doing their projects is because, it's, as I've said in my last video and many videos before this, by 2030, it's over, right? And by 2100, this planet will no longer be habitable. So he's got to speed it up now. He's got to cool down the earth. And this is all, this is all conspiracy stuff. You thought people were crazy when they're saying this stuff, they got to cool down the earth, and now they're actually scientifically saying now, we got to cool down the earth. This is what they're saying. You see what I'm saying? But it's got nothing to do with heat or anything like that. What it is, is that, again, this planet's experiencing now a new type of radiation that it's not, you see what I'm saying, that it's not familiar with. But again, that's all, it's all supposed to go down, and it's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen. But he's running out of time. You see what I'm saying? So he's trying to create more time now by slowing down the process that the earth is going through right here, dealing with his geoengineering. You see what I'm saying? So again, he has to bring it out now it's because he knows he has to speed it up. One plane isn't enough anymore. We need three planes now. You see what I'm saying? We're going to need three planes crisscrossing, creating blankets in the sky. So the people don't get suspicious. We're going to have to tell them that this is what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? So they're trying to make things for their, for, it's for your benefit, but really it's not for your benefit. It's benefits for their own benefit. You see, they want to slow this process down and that's the key. You see what I'm saying? So that's the key right here. So again, this is the truth coming out right here. So again, you have to check this stuff out. I'll leave the links in the description box. Dealing with this geoengineering and the other videos. Again, so again, just a quick video right here. Again, so all right, back people. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
I hope there's no good information. It's all right, black people. Thanks for watching.